Today, we're taking a look at a couple of props from my most favorite book series of all time. From the planet Arrakis, also known as Dune, welcome to A Constantly Racing Mind. Well, it's 2020 and a new adaptation of Frank Herbert's classic is scheduled to come out at the end of the year. Right now, Denis Villeneuve, director of Sicario, Arrival, and Blade Runner 2049, is taking a crack at this epic story, which is expected out on December 18th, 2020. Now, this is a good time for people who missed out so far on the Dune experience to check out the material, either on the big screen or taking a look at the older material or even reading the books. Hi, I'm Rob, and if this is your first time here and you want more sci-fi, fantasy, adventure type of entertainment, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. Now, before I get into the two previous screen adaptations, I want to talk about what Doom means to me, personally. At the time, I was 15 years old, I lived on the south coast of California. Beautiful beaches, nice weather year-round, I had friends, I had family, I had a paper route. There were girls and I was getting ready for high school. Then all of a sudden, well, it seemed like all of a sudden to me, my dad moved my family out to the California Mojave Desert. I was devastated, totally de devastated. Now, my best friend gave me a book to kind of help me through this terrible time. And of course the book was Dune. Now, I remember having a very hard time just making it through the first 25 pages. I told him that it was so boring, I could barely read the thing. Now, my friend told me to just read the first 100 pages, then tell him what I thought. Well, I did, and I told him. And then for 30 years, I read that book at least once a year. Along with that, I read Dune Messiah and Children of Dune as well. Of course, I read all of Frank Herbert's books, God Emperor of Dune and Chapter House of Dune, I went on to read Destination Void and all of the whole series. I sought out in the Encyclopedia of Dune, I, you know, all the books that Frank Herbert wrote. Then David Lynch directed the De Laurentiis production of my favorite book. Well, I thought the Lynch's version had some good ideas and some not so good conce concepts. I certainly hated the pronunciations of the names in his film. Now I could go on. Then there was the sci-fi's miniseries, Frank Herbert's Dune in 2000, and three years later, Frank Herbert's Children of Dune with James McAvoy as Leto II. Now this too had some good ideas and some not so good ideas. I, I could do a whole video on the whole thing. Now while some of the characters may change genders in the upcoming film, however, the main character and the largest is Shai Hulud, who doesn't change genders. These Leviathans of the Desert had segmented rings that essentially had a life of their own. They had rings of teeth at the eating end of their bodies. The somewhat indigenous desert people known as the Freemen, now these Freemen, akin to the Bedouin of the Arabian Peninsula, controlled the desert and the planet, which is 80% of the desert. Therefore, they controlled the planet. As Fremen, they had a con consecrated knife made from the teeth of the sandworm. So we're gonna take a look at two different knives, both made of worm teeth. Well, not really. So, let's take a look. The funny thing about this box is that I actually bought this off of Etsy and not eBay. The seller, James Arnold of Real Art out of Florida, does sell these on eBay as well. Now, each of these knives are sold separately, but I figured that I would just get one from the movie and one from the miniseries. Why just one from each? Well, why would I get two? Links in the description. Now, personally, I am excited that Villeneuve is directing Dune. I was tripped out by Arrival. Sicario was all too real considering I used to live somewhere near the border. And Blade Runner 2049 pretty much was food for thought when it comes to artificial intelligence. You know, Cylons and all. Now I plan on seeing this film with an open mind. Now although neither of the two previous versions had everything that I was hoping for, I do understand how hard of a story like Dune is to bring to the big screen. The fact that he is planning to break the story into two films will hopefully allow him to tell a complete story, or at least he will get the chance to tell that story. Which makes me think 
that the studios are going to have to rethink how they track profit of a film and how they make decisions on what films get a sequel or not. The world is changing and has been changing and unfortunately the way we used to do things may not evolve as they would like. Now looking at some of the photos I can see that there are some David Lynch design elements peeking through in this film. Look at the still suits, very similar to the 1984 film. They just need the Jubba cloak in my honest opinion. Now I'm thinking about the choice of actors is very interesting. As I mentioned that there is a couple of characters whose gender and ethnicity was altered. In the case of Liet Kynes, Sharon Duncan Brewster of Rogue One will be taken over for the recently passed Max von Sydow and Zendaya will play Cheney. Now considering how well I think that worked with Battlestar Galactica, I am hopeful. Now this particular one is from David Lynch's 1984 film. It starred Kyle MacLachlan, Sean Young, and this knife is cast in a mold that supposedly was made from the real prop knife. Now this Dune Fremen knife measures about 11 inches, or 27.94 centimeters long, by 1.5 inches, or 3.81 centimeters wide, by 1.5 the same amount in centimeters thick. Now it's made out of resin and weighs one pound. The end of the pommel is painted gold. Now this knife is from Sci-Fi's 2000 miniseries that starred William Hurt and Alec Newman. Now it also appeared in Children of Dune that had James McAvoy as Leto II. Now these particular ones were molded from the props that were actually used in the miniseries. Now this one is also about the same measurements as the other one. They both weigh about a pound. And this one is wrapped in leather just like the miniseries. So here are my knives. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click that video and please subscribe.